Hello everyone. I thought I would today do a update video on, well I don't have too many updates but I thought I would do it because well, it feels like I haven't done a video in a long while and I just wanted to keep everyone up to date just in case they want to be kept up to date. So um, first things first, I finished my boy here, <laughs> uh, my only doll Ting Yun. He is complete for now. Uh, he, all he is missing is shoes, but I need to find shoes for all my dolls, and it's real, getting really hard because he again has odd sized feet. It's like I can't have, like, I don't have any dolls with just normal sized feet. Like, all my girls have boys' feet, all my boys have girl feet. In the case of my Sabbath, he has feet that really should, like, they're almost girl SD sized. I mean, like, they're tiny, and his feet are actually bigger than what I think is the standard um, MSD size. Besides, um, that's according to the website. I'm going to try and take some measurements and see if I get anything different. Because for head size, unless, I don't know, it could just be the wig. It's a Leak World wig. And it's in a style that I've wanted forever. In fact, I think I have a wig on my pull-up right now. It's a white wig that I got from Leak World during one of their winter events. I think they're one from 2010. Um, I got it for Rye. Because Rye has uh, three different personalities. And one of them... Had, like, it's kind of reflected in his hair. It's weird. Um, but anyway, I got it for him, but when I got it, it was a mess. First of all, it was too big. Second of all, the wig cap shows. Second, the bangs were just like, so you couldn't even see Rye's face, and it was just really stupid. Anyway, I think it's the same style as this one, but this one is better made, but it's way too big for him. Like, it's over his ears too big for him. Um, I... It, went though by the measurements on the website so this should like perfect like it should have been just the right size not too big so one day I might get him a size smaller in this way we shall see um because if I do I could always use this on my um doll set to Olivia like she'll have, she's gonna have a lot of wigs once I finally uh get her face up like complete in my head um, she, she'll have a lot of ways because she's going to switch between all different hair colors. Um, I think because, uh, she, I, I'm, I'm thinking she just dyes her hair or bleaches it or whatever she does. So in my head, she's sometimes blonde, sometimes red hair. So she's, I'm just going to have her be both, I guess. Um, and this wig would fit her head because her head is smaller than a regular SD. So... I'm going to think about it. But for right now, he's complete. I actually made the, I guess, halter, you should say, and um, the shorts um, based off a tutorial that I'll link again. I linked it one other time because my doll should tell Pierre. I made a halter with the same thing. Um, in the back, it's a little of a mess because, like, I still, I, I don't know if it's how I sew or if it's my sewing machine. Um... It could be a factor of both, but like it just it it uh it has some finishing problems near the ends, and I don't know how to fix it too much because I'm like I keep back stitching and everything, and it just doesn't seem to work out very well. But still working on it. Um, I did not make his um arm warmers, and he's wearing he's actually wearing SD or um. SDR warmers for like sock things. Um, none of my dolls wear this, the, um, these arm warmers, and I just figured why not because they're kind of like socks. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I got them for Ellie to wear, but I just did not like them on her. I think it's because they're too long. I mean, as you can see, they go pra practically up to his shorts so it's too long and these actually belong to Junie but I just stole them because they go but um as her name oh and his face up I did that myself and he does not have his actual eyes because I think I want him to have brown eyes but I think I'm going to do an order 
um, probably next month for my favorite um, ca uh, from Capturing Glass, who does my favorite glass eyes. Um, I think we're going to do an order from them and include him, include um, Jax, and I think that's it. Everyone else might have actually, um, like my uh, Fufu will keep the glass eyes that came with her and all my like god dolls as I call them uh, will probably have like Mako eyes which are like lower end urethane eyes but I kind of really like them so I'm going to get more and I, I was like maybe they should just have them and it'll be neat they all have like similar eyes. Um, Anyway, though, <laughs> he is nameless, sort of. I have a nickname for him, which is Yellow Jacket. It's because yellow is his favorite color. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't have his real name, which I'm still waiting for. Uh, eventually, it'll come to me, I'm sure. But since he was an impulse buy that happened during Only Dolls Winter event, um, where you, I think it was 20% off for him, since that happened, basically he's very unplanned I just he was always on my list but that doesn't mean I had a plan for him <laughs> so yeah so that's one update Ta -da! <laughs> he just needs shoes yay and then next um I actually made something else I've actually been trying to learn so trying very hard actually well not very very hard but hard for me I should say um, hold on, Jolie's on it. Um, I made flu for the dress. Now her head's not on because I took it off because, um, well, first of all, the dress has to go on over her head. And second of all, because I am planning a, a face up for her, I've been studying pictures, so I just need to get, um, mentally prepared to do it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I made her a dress using an easy tutorial I found on YouTube, and I will post a link to that. It's nowhere near perfect. Like the back is a mess as a gap right here, even. But she's so odd shaped that like did the best I could, I think, under the circumstances. And plus getting it on her kind of pulled a stitch, but I'm not sure if that is actually a pulled stitch or or a place where I didn't sew right. It's probably a place I didn't sew right. I'm betting. <laughs> I'm betting. I think I'm supposed to go further up the back, but I'm not sure. I'm going to check the tutorial again because after a certain point, I was still at the sewing machine, so I just kept sewing, trying to remember how the tutorial went, so there's a chance I didn't do it right. But um, anyway, I think I've decided Fluffy style, and um, if you've never heard of this, this is going to be a weird reference. I'll probably link to this too. But um, if you've heard of Crate and Barrel's other, they have a CB2, as they call it, and it's supposed to be modern, um, uh, she's got to stop there, uh, what is it, modern, there's a word for it, <laughs> modern retro, there we go, I think that's what it is, so basically it's, it's mo um, oh, she's so kicky in the legs, <laughs> As you saw, all of that she, since she just flipped right over. Um, but she can't stand, I swear. But um, yeah, CB2 has. Oh, I see. Oh. Um, but yeah, CB2 does modern retro, and that's, I think, what her style is going to be. Um, so I, I think I'm going to take this off of her. Because it fit with the other dress, but it's not going so well with this one. Uh, and I'm going to make her some boy shorts to go under this. Uh, simply because I don't have underwear for her. And I figured, hey, I'll make her boy shorts because I know how to do that now. Um, they're very simple. They're not cute or too flattering. But, you know, <laughs> I'll do what I can. But, um... So yeah, I think that's what her style is going to be, and I chose this pattern because it kind of kind of fits it, and I think it it fits it suits her very well, and it will suit her wig, which I have pictures on my Flickr. I don't have it with me. I forgot to bring it over, but <laughs> I'll just it's over there. It's blue, and it's actually 
turquoise and brown. So this orange will go with it really well. I actually, um, I really love the dress she was wearing, which is a, a live doll dress. I actually really liked it on her, but um, that's actually for my live girl here, Steiner, if you remember her. Um, it's for Steiner, and Steiner as it is, doesn't have a lot of clothes, so I felt really bad stealing clothes from her, and I know that's silly and really stupid. I, I perfectly understand that that's really stupid, but um, I couldn't help myself. I was just like, let me make Flufu something to wear so she's not stealing from Steiner <laughs> the little bit of clothes she actually has that actually fits. Because lived all clothes, weirdly enough, uh, don't um, always fit. Um, I have an outfit I bought for her that completely does not fit her. And I was like, what is that even? <laughs> um, it was like made for her, but it, it doesn't fit her. These jeans, it kind of sucks. Um, especially since it doesn't fit anyone else, so it's always funny. But, um, so yeah, I just made her her own and it works out. I like it. Um, and next to update, I think it's the last one I have for this video. Um, I am going to, I haven't put down the first payment yet because they have to email me the PayPal invoice, but I have ordered my next doll. Um, and actually, uh, this is actually not an input pulse buy, which is good. And I actually have, like, I, it's funny, um, I had resisted him for a very long time, and I think it's because, like, I kind of a love-hate thing with him, like, I'll see other people with him, and I'm like, oh, I love him, and I'll see, like, individual, like, outside pictures of him, I'm like, no, I'm not sure if I love him, and, like, so it kept going back and forth, back and forth, it was really annoying, um, but I finally made my mind that I actually really do like him, and I'm not even sure what brought that about I think it's because I had been watching so many box openings for him recently and seeing lots of new pictures of him on DOA and there's one girl has one who like she has the like most beautiful face up on him so he looks so pretty and I don't know I was just swayed and then he uh came, I came up with a complete character for him like it only took me like a couple hours to really know who he is so I was like Okay, so maybe I do want him. But anyway, it's a Bobby Apollo. <laughs> it's really a surprise for me, um, especially since he was not on the list and he's nowhere near the horizon, really. Um, but yeah, I'm getting him. Um, I took a, uh, um, I stole an idea from him. I just, I knew too late. But. <laughs> I remember a doll's name, but not, not her YouTube name. Is that sad? But anyway, Conrad, do you know, you probably know who I'm talking about. Um, so I'm getting a Bobobi Apollo on the Resin Soul gang body because, um, after her review on the, um, Bobobi, uh, Apollo body, I wasn't so sure about it, but then, um, I remembered that she had, put him on the Resident Soul Gang body. So I looked it up and looked up his body and looked up videos about his posing and all these blah blah blah. I went like insane. I was obsessing. Um, still am actually. Um, and I was like, hmm. So I emailed Bobobi, who um, sells both uh, Bobobi and Resident Soul. Resident Soul on the other hand only sells, sells Resident Soul. I, I'm confused about that. Uh, I, I, I'm really confused about that. I don't know why they both don't sell each other. But regardless, um, <clears throat> um, I uh, contacted Bobi and they said it was possible just to order him directly like that because I was afraid that I would have to like try and buy both and then try and sell something, which I mean was possible, but it would have lost me money to get it sold. Um, if only because, um, I don't know if it would have sold for full price. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be putting a down payment on that as soon as they send me the invoice, which probably will be, uh, 
tomorrow um, because I think when I answered them was after the time cut like the probably the work hours there in China so yay <laughs> so um I'll explain this character once you know I get him and everything I would pay on a more like they only asked 50 so I'm gonna put 50 down but um I'm waiting to hear back about a doll head um to see if I can get him so I'm gonna put down the 50 to be safe and then if I miss out on the doll heads and put my money towards them towards uh, my Apollo who will be named Sparrow by the way and I'll explain all of it <laughs> um I'm actually going to write more of his backstory today so yay but anyway that's my doll updates as they stand right now I'm still on before shipping with Dolce um I think I'm going to take other people's suggestions and ask them about them but I'm going to first check out and see how long it was on before shipping because I think you can be on before shipping for up to a month. So if it hasn't been a month yet, then I'm just going to let it go. I think it's been less than, so I might give them to next weekend or something. And then, um, yeah, otherwise not much else going on. Everything is in layaway and limbo, which is good because it's giving me time to focus on my other dolls, which is what I really want to do. I mean, like, making her dress was monumental for me at this point because I've been it's, it's hard to focus on many dolls, but it's lovely when you can. I, re, it's, I love it. <laughs> like, it's funny. I go, I went through the period, and I think I made a video of it, of course, um, where I was like, I have too many dolls, blah, blah, blah. But I think the problem was is I had too many coming in, and so I didn't have a break and need a break. <laughs> so right now, I'm trying to take care of everybody and get everybody make sure they have face up, make sure they have outfits. Um, next will be shoes, but that's gonna that's gonna suck because it's not even the price of the shoes. I wish it was the price of the shoes. It's just the odd size feet. I'm like one well, my I I don't know what to do. Um, it's and uh, I have odd sized dolls still. Like yeah, so <laughs> so yeah, that is it for now. I'm gonna also start doing BJD added prompts again so please look for that this weekend probably or friday night we'll see um and that's all thank you if you watched 